Chandler Tenney here, sales director with Brinkley RV. I'm here at Moik's RV in uh, Conway, Arkansas. Uh, they actually have an exclusive Brinkley RV uh, superstore here, so make sure you come check it out. Uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit about our Model Z lineup, uh, particularly the 3100 that they have here in stock. So uh, moving forward here, we'll have a, uh, some of the features we've got here, a nice fiberglass front cap, so um, this has got automotive paint and clear coat, and you'll notice it does have these nice LED lights on it. Um, our LED light strips are actually uh, back behind automotive lenses to keep them protected from the elements and, and re really reduce any uh, entry points for leaks. Up front on your pin box, we're using the uh, Rhino box from Lippert. So this is going to extend everything forward a, a little bit so that you're going to be able to run a full profile cap and not really uh, get into those situations where your cap is hitting the back end of your truck. Um, so you can still run the full radius and get a little bit more living space on the inside. Um, we also up front here have a nice large storage compartment and we do offer from our aftermarket parts division um, a generator setup that would go in here and we do prep for it. So that's not something we install from the factory. We do after, offer that in the aftermarket if the customer chooses to um, add that on the dealer side. Um, you can see up front this tank here, which would house um, hydraulic fluid for your four point hydraulic leveling as well as hydraulic slide outs. Um, and those are some features that we've added here recently. So we went switch from the electric setups over to hydraulic. Um, we do have a dual battery um, rack here will house two group 27 batteries and then that um, we have a 50 amp charge controller which will feed into those batteries from our 370 watt panel which is up on the roof so you have solar directly from the factory so if you get some of those customers that are interested in boondocking and not using up all their lp um, or for instance gas in their generator this is another great option for them for all their 12 volt appliances and then we also um, do add inverter prep in here as well too. If they wanted to add an inverter, they could uh, do that as well. We've already set it up for that. Moving along here, we have 30 pound LP tanks directly from the factory. Um, so you have one on each side. You do have enough room in here to be able to fit a 40 as well. And then also this hose is long enough to extend down for a 20 in some of those pinch situations where you need a little bit of extra um, gas and you can't find a fill station. You can swing through and grab a 20 at a gas station if you need to in a pinch. Um, you're gonna have a nice large pass-through storage here with a big thick inch and a half door with slam latches. And then you'll have some nice coin flooring in here. So this is the same flooring we use in our toy hauler garage floor, which has got a nice grip to it. And uh, it's gonna make sure your stuff's not in there sliding around. Um, back over here, you're gonna have an exterior shower. So you have hot, cold water um, on the campsite as well as the off campsite over in our convenience center over there. And then you have the radio functions for your exterior speakers um, right here. So this has Bluetooth um, that you can link your phone directly up to it. And then down below, you'll have speakers here that are housed in a waterproof box. Um, so it's gonna give you better sound quality. They're gonna be down firing speakers. You'll have great sound no matter where you walk alongside the unit um, coming out of those. So. This will be an independent zone directly for exterior speakers. We also have another receiver inside will be an independent zone directly for the speakers inside. Um, we give you coax cable as well as power out here. So if you did want to set a TV here and kind of emulate your own outside camp kitchen, you could do that. Um, and then you have your switches in here for your LED light strip, which runs the full length of the pass through storage. Um, to give you a nice lit up area, you're not just dealing with a couple different lights in there, you have one lit up all the way across. Um, for our disconnects, we do also offer a second disconnect here, which would be a disconnect for travel mode. So this will disconnect everything except for your refrigerator, your solar and your jacks. So basically the essentials that you're going to need when you're traveling, you'll still have power to those. And then back behind here, you'll find uh, basically where everybody wants to hide all of the uh, rat's nest, I like to call it. Um, we're giving you um, access back in there to see, you know, basically our 
our wire harness. So we run a full wire harness throughout the entire unit. They're color coded. They're also labeled at each end. And that's kind of an industry first for the RV industry, especially the towable segment. And then in there, you'll also see our thermoduct uh, heat ducting, which is basically taking place of your standard dryer vent, which, um, you know, if you look at those, they tear. Um, this will basically take like a, a utility knife to be able to cut through it. So um, nice, strong stuff. You can keep your heat, um, you know, in the tube and into the areas you want it versus losing it in your underbelly. And then you can also see on all of our plumbing lines that we're running black brass fittings. So again, that was an issue that um, just in doing homework and seeing previous warranty issues, a lot of those pl plastic plumbing fittings, especially if you units not winterized correctly or it does get in freezing temperatures, a lot of times those are what would break. So um, we directly build those into the unit from the factory. Outside, all of your fiberglass is all a 0 0.60 fiberglass. And that's going to be um, basically the thickest exterior fiberglass in the industry and it's a high gloss finish as well as um, the graphics which do have a five-year warranty they're 3m breathable graphics with a five-year warranty your outside windows are all a euro style window with uh, they're frameless and then they also do have day and night shades built right into them which i'll show you once we get inside on this particular unit you're going to have two nice big awnings uh, which are electric and then all of your entry steps are going to have a nice pivot up. So if you do get dirt or debris on them, it's nice to be able to flip those up, get the dirt and debris out so it doesn't end up inside your trailer. And then your grab handle does pivot up into storage mode, or if you're utilizing it, you have the handle all the way down at that main entry step. So you've got support all the way up. On your entry door, You'll see we have a lipper entry door, which is 30 inches wide. On the entry door, this basically comes with every single option lipper has to offer for their entry doors. So you have the pull-up shade, you have your nice screen assist handle, as well as the swing shot. So this thing will automatically close itself automatically. And then the screen defender. So if you have pets or dogs, um, that way they're not continuously clawing at this. And then it is a friction hinge door, so you can put it into place and it'll keep itself there. All of your slide outs, again, are hydraulic slide outs, um, as well as your running gear. And then down low here, you'll have all your running gear. So you have 17 inch custom Brinkley wheels with Cooper H rated tires. These are 16 ply tires. Um, it's definitely a tire that's an industry leading tire and it's got a load range um, or of H. So basically these will, um, <coughs> these are more than capable of carrying this with the additional carrying capacity of the unit. And then you have road, ar road armor suspension as well. So you're going to have 7K axles on this unit, 7,000 pound capacity axles with 8,000 pound capacity springs. So. We put a lot of, of time and money in engineering and making sure that the running gear on this unit, which is everything that's hitting the road, is gonna stand the test of time. We also reinforce all of our hangers with angle brackets as well too, because it's gonna really help with uh, situations where you, know, you do hit that occasional pothole to make sure that uh, it's gonna stand the test of time as well. On the back half of the unit here, you will have an exterior ladder. Um, to get up on the roof, which is a full walkable roof. We use uh, alpha phase sealant around all of our uh, AC vents, the you know vents for your, your fans and whatnot. Also the um, vents for any of your sewage hoses. Uh, we're running alpha thane around that. So we quote this as basically a, a semi maintenance free roof. Um, the roof membrane itself does have a 20 year warranty. Moving back here, you're gonna see again the coin flooring with some additional storage space. So this is storage space that usually is not utilized in any other RV. We've engineered our frame to be able to have additional access back here. So you have a slam latch baggage door, again, an inch and a half thick. 
and then a little bit of extra storage space to be able to put you know folding chairs or miscellaneous items back here down low you'll see our uh, hitch setup as well as your four-way uh, plug this hitch right here is made to tow up to 3,000 pounds or you can carry up to 300 pounds. So if you didn't want to put a hitch style bike rack on here, this is more than capable of holding, you know, two rather heavy bikes. You'll have a 35,000 BTU uh, furnace as well as a 60K BTU tankless water heater, uh, which would be standard on the unit. We also do run a convenience center um, so all your main fittings and everything are all in one centralized location. And then we partition your baggage door so that you don't have to open the whole entire thing just to access this particular part. In this convenience center, we give you a 65 foot um, hose for your water connection. That's on a cord reel that does retract. So it's something that you don't have to you know, carry around a separate hose to be able to, um, you know, hook up to it. Everything's already connected for you, making it nice and simple. And then we also put your electric leveling inside your store, your uh, pass-through storage so that you, this is not exposed to the elements. And again, hydraulic leveling as well as hydraulic slide out. Up top, you'll notice a upgraded slim rack style uh, slide out mechanism. So this is something you generally find in higher end motorhomes. But again, we're doing this in the towable segment. Um, so we're going to slim rack on any of your bed slides or wardrobe slides. And then down low, you'll have uh, basically a uh, marine grade plywood that's got a Darko coating directly laminated to it. And then you have lights underneath here to keep everything lit up. Um, so that you're not constantly banging your head into the, the slide out. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the inside and kind of go through some of the features on that. In here on the interior of the Model Z 3100, just want to talk to you about a few key features that we have here um, exclusive to us as well as additional uh, features on this particular floor plan. Um, first starting off with, we metal reinforce all of our slide outs. Uh, so we have a metal plate back behind here and then we're running screws from the back forward. So then it gives you this nice clean uh, slide out fascia here without a uh, center block. So you're gonna not have all the pinholes that you typically see in the unit giving you a nice clean look as well as reinforcing your slide out fascia as well. Um, on our window frames here, you'll notice you don't see any nail holes in here either. So that's because we are actually uh, gluing these on versus uh, nailing these on to uh, eliminate you know, any valances or any nail holes in here as well. I talked to you on the outside about our Euro, Euro style windows. Um, so they, again, these are frameless windows and these do have built day and night shades. So you got your night shade, you have your day shade, as well as they do vent up as well. And then you can completely open them up. Um, so you have full access out to uh, look out on the campsite. Uh, another key feature of these as well, they do have now have built-in screens to make sure that you keep any bugs outside um, and don't have them coming inside your trailer. Uh, we've recently added this sliding desk um, dinette combination. So uh, you're gonna get a nice bar top area surface right here, which is a great workspace if you'd like to keep it like this. Um, you do have additional company. You have the ability to pull this out on the sides here. So then you'll have the ability to use this as a desk if you want. Um, if you're interested in eating, you can slide this out of the way and slide this back in. And you have a lever down here, which is your travel lock. And then you can slide it into a dinette type of situation. Pull this out. You have a nice table here to eat for two, or you can pull it out even more and sit four people in here if you'd like. So it's a nice versatile desk dinette combination. And this will pull in. And then you can slide it down into travel mode and it will lock, latch into place here and then down low here so in our old dinette you used to have uh, 
utensil storage. So we still incorporated that into here. And below here, you'll have nice wine holders. So for wine bottles and then your wine glass holders up top as well. So um, that's a nice little feature that, that we've added to all of our, our Model Z lineup. Um, and anything that had our old dinette will now have their new sliding desk. Up top, all of your cabinetry will have magnetic latches as well as soft closed doors. Uh, we're utilizing uh, nice hardwood doors here with the bronze hardware. Uh, matches really nicely with our uh, camel leather interior. This does have a seven year warranty on the fabric itself, as well as a built-in cell phone charger and then also heated seats. Um, these do recline just like theater seats. Uh, so let's give you a nice area to you know, sit back and watch some TV and relax a little bit. And then even down things, even things down to like your light switches. So this will function for this area. That particular one will function for over the dinette. You have even more storage. So even in your nightstands, this is gonna open up, giving you a nice little spot to set a remote. You need to charge your cell phone or something like that. It's not a problem. You're going to have this on both ends. So you have USB, USB-C, as well as two 110 outlets over here um, on both ends. Your couch back here will be a trifold sofa. So this is going to give you some additional sleeping space um, in this unit. And then we do give you this ottoman as well too, which has storage underneath as well as functions as a separate table. So if you have a lot of people that you're trying to feed, um, you can have a couple sit over here and eat as well as over there, um, giving you a lot of different functionality um, in this couples coach floor plan. Your TV is an Insignia TV. This TV is a uh, Fire TV, so it is a smart TV. Um, so you can get, you know, Bluetooth and Netflix, Hulu, all that stuff. And then we do have a receiver down below here, which we'll use as the surround sound for this particular TV, as well as um, give you uh, Bluetooth off your phone if you want to listen to music to the interior speakers in here as well. And you're going to have solid surface countertops. So um, a lot of high end features you'd find in, in a lot of high end homes, as well as hardwood cabinet doors with, uh, with uh, dovetailed framing so and nice solid solid uh hardwood bottoms as well too so you're not going to have stapled in cabinets with wallboard down below um giving you a nice residential feel again our whole theme is residential interior automotive exterior your uh two dual pull out trash can and then nice paper towel holder here as well Furion appliances. So we were in a full Furion appliance package. You have a Furion microwave, three burner range, as well as your Furion oven. And then we're utilizing the Furion 18,000 BTU chill cube. So this is a non-ducted air conditioner that does have an oscillating vent. Um, this air conditioner will cool this unit down in the matter of minutes. I mean, it's very quiet as well too. So I can go ahead and turn it on for you here. And you'll notice the oscillating motion will push the cool air throughout the entire length of the unit. Um, the thermostat for this is actually on the remote, so you can literally change the temperature sitting in the, the theater seating if you want. Um, but it's very nice and quiet. I mean, I'm not really having to raise my voice to have a conversation in here. Um, and again, it does cool this unit down rather quick. Uh, 16 cubic foot uh, French door. Uh, refrigerator, something cool that we do, again, is thinking of the little things, is we put this magnet in here to store uh, basically the travel lock for the refrigerator. So this will spin into place to make sure your fridge stays shut when you're traveling down the road. Where does this go? Right here on this magnet inside the door. Your pantry is huge. It also has hardwood adjustable shelves in here. And so you can adjust that wherever you'd like. And then down low, you'll see this white cap. So that white cap is basically a tube that will run all the way up to 
um, the roof. So it's basically a wire chase for you that's already uh, set up directly from the factory. You're gonna save you a lot of money if you ever do need uh, you know, to run wiring throughout your unit. You're not having to tear it apart to get wiring inside the coach. Again, soft close, hardwood doors, just like you find in a nice new modern home. All of your access uh, to your controls for the unit are all inside this cabinet here. Um, we do have this all in one panel here, so you can use the Lippert One Control app uh, and link your phone up to this so you can run slide outs out, uh, awnings out, that type of thing directly from your phone. It will link right up to this setup. So you have your tank levels, all your lights, slide outs, all that stuff will be right here, but you can also do that from your phone. Um, all your lights, main lights are on a main switch here and they're also all hooked up to a dimmer so you can literally dim the whole entire coach if you'd like to. Um, in here we'll house the max air vent control for the living space in here in the living room and then you do also have one in the bathroom as well um, with a separate control. Um, you also do have an amp meter, voltage meter for the solar, um, you know, feeding energy down to your batteries um, so you can monitor that inside the coach. You can see I'm, I'm six foot two. I'm standing in this bathroom uh, in the shower and I have a, a lot of space here as well. So you have this recess here, um, faux skylight so that you got additional headroom. You got a nice head sprayer, your body sprayer, and a separate wand here. Um, and when we turn around on this back wall and all Brinkley's, we are reinforcing uh, and putting a backer in the back portion of the shower, which this is a full fiberglass reinforced shower, not a plastic surround. Um, so we're reinforcing it back here with a piece of plywood so that you can add a separate uh, bench if you'd like to um, from the aftermarket. And then giving you this LED light strip up top to keep things uh, nice and bright so you have room to uh, see uh, basically what you're doing. Your toilet paper holder is separate so you can set it wherever you'd like but in travel mode we give you this magnet to secure it into place so it doesn't go around sliding around when you are traveling down the road. And you're gonna fin the same uh, hardwood doors and cabinetry style finishes inside here as well with the solid surface countertop and your max air fan. Moving along into the bedroom you have a nice nine inch thick uh, memory foam mattress, which is a very comfortable mattress. So something you're not gonna have to swap out um, over time to, uh, you know, especially when you spend all this money on a unit, this is one that's comfortable enough to uh, sleep on for sure. And then underneath here is a great testament to our fit and finish. So normally down here, you would see tons of raw wood um, you can see we finish out underneath the bed base. This is a nice space to store uh, comforters and, and blankets and whatnot uh, underneath the bed here. Up top of our windows in the slide out, you'll see these uh, storage shelves um, where you're gonna have USB ports back there. So you can plug into those, give you additional um, you know, charging space to set your cell phone up here, have it charge uh, overnight. And then down low, you'll have outlets on each end of the bed, which are 110 outlets to give you a place to plug in like a CPAP or something um, of that matter. You'll have an additional 110 down here. And then we're backing um, the uh, closet wall here for a mounting bracket for a uh, cordless vacuum, if you would like. And then you can see we also do clothes hanging rod that has a built-in LED light. And then there is a switch here if you'd want to turn that off. Uh, speaking of clothes, you also need a place to wash them. So we're doing washer and dryer prep up here. So this will handle a stackable unit. Um, we recommend the Splendid setup. So we're, we've set this up for the Splendid washer and dryer. And then we even give you this access panel so you, that you can drill the hole out for the vent into the sidewall um, if you choose to go that route. On your dresser here, again, hardwood cabinet doors. You got this nice countertop here, but one of the trick things that we do is you can pull this out um, to have a little bit of additional storage. So this is a great place to put some of those valuable items that you don't want anybody to see and kind of keep them hidden out of the eyes. And then if you want, we do through our aftermarket division, uh, we offer an insert piece that's the same style of countertop 
that would fit in right here so you can utilize this space as a desk as well. And then of course we give you the TV inside the bedroom. This is an Insignia TV, which is a fire TV, just like your TV out there. Um, so it's a smart TV as well. Um, your air conditioner in here will be a 13,500 BTU uh, Furion low profile air conditioner that does have a duct running into the bathroom as well so that you can you know, keep that climate controlled also. So that's really everything we got to tell you about the interior of this Brinkley 3100. Thanks for coming to check this unit out. Come check them out at Moik's RV.